Talofa, Yarona, Bula, Mailoi Lele. These are some of the ways that you can say hello if you ever find yourself in Polynesia. Hi everyone. For those of you that don't remember me, my name is Juan Cintron Balcedo. And today, we're going to be talking about a part of the world that has fascinated me ever since I was a little kid. Polynesia. I'm a big Disney fan, and one of my favorite movies is Little and Stitch. I fell in love with Polynesian culture then, and have been in love with it ever since. This is also the culture that was used as inspiration to create the wonderful movie Moana a few years ago. The movie Moana is based mainly on three Polynesian islands, Hawaii, Tonga, and Tahiti. Polynesia is not just one piece of land like the United States is, but in fact is made up of more than a thousand islands throughout the central and southern Pacific Ocean waters. It is considered a subregion of the continent Oceania. Some of its most popular islands include Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, Tahiti, New Guinea, Bora Bora, and even Hawaii. Although part of the United States, the islands of Hawaii are still part of the Polynesian culture. The indigenous people of these islands are known as Polynesians. Although having similarities in their way of life, each island has traditions and customs that differ from the next. In fact, within the island, there could be even more differences in the traditions and customs through these subregions of the island. Some of these differences can be from the Hakka dances with the chin paint of the Maori people of New Zealand to the origins of the art of polish and tattooing in Tahiti. Even in the dances and cuisine celebrated throughout all the islands, you can find the differences in the form and style of dance and the ingredients and the taste of food that specify them for that individual island or region. A few of these differences in food and culture include the fire dance styles of Hawaii and Samoa, a Tongan milky drink called Otai, and Fijian curry. Many of these islands are popular for its crystal waters and white sand beaches that make them an international dream vacation destination. Among the most popular being Hawaii, Bora Bora, and Fiji. In addition to its beauty and colorful culture, the islands of Polynesia are home to thousands of species both inland and at sea. The ocean is home to various species of sea turtles in which some are not seen anywhere else in the world. It also contains big fishes that we would otherwise not see, such as the tiger sharks and specific species of dolphins and manta rays. Flying above, we would see species native to the islands such as the Tahiti Striflet, most commonly found in the tropical forests of the Marquesas Islands. As we look at this breathtaking paradise, I want you to remember something. Beauty does not come without a cost. There are people and things that will go to no ends in obtaining beauty like the ones found here. We must protect not only the cultural customs and traditions, but also the environment and those who live in it, whether it is on land, human or animal, or at sea. If we don't have a sense of responsibility to educate ourselves about cultures and places like Polynesia and gain the courage and strength to protect and reserve this environment, dangers like global warming will destroy this paradise as it is already doing. Thank you for listening. I hope I have piqued interest in you about the beautiful islands of Polynesia. And as they say goodbye in Tonga, Aluae.